Welcome back to another YouTube video, guys. And today's video is actually the most important video I'll ever make, right? This is the mindset you need to get into cybersecurity, right? So, first of all, um, my name is Sia. I'm a cybersecurity analyst. Um, what, I'm 22, based out of Cape Town, South Africa. Been in the industry for like, what, maybe two or three years. So not that long, actually. But uh, what I do, besides my job, I like, I like to help, help people in cybersecurity, tell them about cybersecurity, and also we have a community where we have a group of young ambitious individuals kind of begging in cybersecurity, right? So, yeah, I mean, some very, very cool stuff, it's a very, very cool um, you know, space to be in, and yeah, something I'm really passionate about. But let me just um, land on the first point, right? The mindset you need to break into cyber, you get me? So, this is a graph that I made um, in one of my calls, let me just move it up a bit. But if you're trying to break into cyber, right? Okay, let's, let's look at it like this. So this is basically a hierarchy or a triangle or pyramid that explains the hierarchy within cyber, right? So you have your L1 entry level, then L2 manager, CISO, founder, whatever, right? So it goes all the way up. So when you're trying to break into cyber, you here, right? Towards the bottom. And what this triangle explains is um, the competition that that you that you have within this level in the space right so yeah you competing with our ones any entry level cyber people or tech people any interns any people with the computer science degrees any people with IT degree high certificate diploma competing with AI anyone from any academy any boot camp or anyone that's transitioning into cyber right so at the base of the of the triangle, right, you can see that's where it's the thickest and the widest, right? That's because the, the amount of competition is insane. And let me just touch on the AI part, right? Like, I don't know if you guys have heard, but a lot of big tech companies have been laying off, not just tech companies, just companies in general, right? But especially the tech companies, they've been laying off people. Um, uh, they've been laying off people uh, due to AI um, being able to do their, or perform their job roles, right? So it's not like fully, fully replacing them, but it's doing it at a, I'd say a more junior entry level um, uh, position, right? So yeah, you have to remember that a company's um, first goal is to uh, you know, produce prof make profit or make money, right? So if they can replace someone's job role with AI, they'll do so, right? So that's more or less what's going on with um, cybersecurity as well specifically let's just say like a sock roll right so if you just look um look here this is they're making ai to literally um you know replace the task um of a tier one stock analyst right which is the role we're targeting if you're trying to get into cyber so there's job zone ai proper security um coming ai right so already they're already moving, going towards in that direction. And you have to remember, right? Like you might not think that AI is gonna replace your job now, but you also have to remember that this is the worst AI will ever be, or today is the worst it will ever be. It's only gonna get better and better every year, every month. It seems like um, every day at this point, right? So you need to just uh, get on it and <laughs> Just need to know that that's where the future is going, right? So going back to the graph, so when AI gets better, like the people here, the people, let's just say L2, L3, and higher up in the pyramid, these guys won't be worried about anything, right? Because they really have the years of experience, right? They really have the qualifications, you know, the background experience, the hands-on skills and whatever, right? You are here at the bottom, you don't have anything, no one knows you, um, and, you have to also uh, be remind be reminded that, like, if, if a company is gonna gonna take on someone's entry level, like, they're also taking the risk, right? Because you haven't proven your skills or your background, right? So you have to think about that. But yeah, the the industry is gonna go um, more and more in the space where like people who have experience, those guys are gonna or people who are specialized, those guys are, won't be really really affected. But the entry level, I mean, you can see like. If you just go on to any job posting, like you'll see over 100, 500 applicants, right? So lots and lots of competition there. 
And then the second point I wanted to make is, um, so besides the competition, they also have to be grateful for what you have, right? So if you are in, if you are in, if you aren't in one of the big cities, you have to work even harder, right? So I'm speaking within a South African context, okay? So if you're not in Cape Town or you're not in Joburg, I don't want to say you cooked, but you're in a really, really tough situation. For example, let's just look um, at the cybersecurity job roles within SA. You look at the locations, right? So let's just go here. Cape Town, remote, Cape Town, Eastern Cape, Cape Town, Joburg, Cape Town, Cape Town, Cape Town, Cape Town, KZN, remote, Joburg, remote, remote, Joburg, Cape Town, Cape Town, Joburg, 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 Cape Town, Cape Town, Cape Town. And that's just the first page, right? So you see where all the jobs are, Cape Town or Joburg. It's actually leaning more towards Cape Town, right? So if you aren't based in one of those big cities, right, you need to stand out even more because now you have to, you have to think that a company is going to have to maybe take a risk on you and maybe spend some more money on you to relocate to that location. And also you have to, um, just personally as well, you have to think about um, let's just say accommodation in a new city or maybe you're in a new city and you don't know anyone, right? So for, for the people who aren't in one of these cities, you guys have to work um, even harder. You guys really, really have to stand out because why would a company hire someone who's in a different part of the, of the country when they can just hire someone who's already based in Cape Town, really, you know, um, is familiar with the city and all of that, you know? So if you're, based out of, if you're not based in one of these cities, you need to put in a bit more, more effort as well, right? And also, um, just give me a second, I have some notes here. For people who are based in um, Cape Town and Joburg, you guys have to be grateful for what you have as well. Um, you could have been born like in North Korea, you could have been born in, I don't know, Eastern Cape or whatever, or you could have been born with a missing limb, or you could have been illiterate, right? But uh, if, you, if you're here, you, you must make sure that you don't waste any opportunities that you have, right? Lots and lots of opportunities within um, these cities, right? And just going back to those people who aren't based in these cities, like, or just in general, you guys have to work, work, like, even harder to break in, right? You're gonna need more hands-on skills, more certifications, more degrees, right? And you just have to know that it's actually, like, even harder to break in than it was, um, let's just say, a couple of years ago. Let me just go with this quickly. Let me just show you this. Right, cybersecurity has gone crazy with, uh, within the past couple of years. Uh, I don't know if it's a hype or a chain, but I do know that South Africa has been targeted more in terms of cyber attacks. And so just like interest within the space has just grown rapidly, right? If you just look at, um, let's just look at South Africa within the past, past five years, right? I mean, let's just say the people who got in here, there wasn't really that uh, that much competition or similar competition as it was, let's just say today, right? So you can see just, just even not even within the past five years, just within the last year, if you go from um, December 2024 to March, April, May, June, or anybody watching this video, right? You can see that there's a, a vast increase in the amount of interest in cybersecurity. So I'm just trying to show you that the, the more or less the landscape of, of the cyber industry within SA and what you have to continue with, right? So, yeah, you just have to, you also have to have a mindset like, you know, um, when you're doing your, when you're applying for jobs, you, you're going to get rejected for applications, you're going to get rejected at interviews, you're going to fail some certifications, you gotta, you're going to struggle with labs, you're going to struggle to grasp any concepts, right? But you also have to know that this is like a really, really, really rewarding career. Um, there's lots of interesting things to learn, lots of interesting th stuff. And I've met some really, really amazing people, really inspiring people like, you know, cybersecurity has honestly changed my life. Um, yeah, I mean, some, some of these people, they're doing really, really amazing things, man. And, and they, they really inspire me, you know? So um, there's a lot of, yeah. There's a lot of uh, 
great things about this industry and also speaking of remuneration or salaries or payment like people always ask me that but i always say you know in what, whatever you're doing right especially within cyber if you're good at something you're gonna get paid right um pe people or companies are always looking for highly skilled highly talented individuals so if you're good at what you do you're gonna get paid regardless so just work on um getting those hands-on skills right and also there's lots of opportunities in this space i mean you don't have to be a blue team or a, or a hacker or a red team or grc or whatever right you don't have to pick one and stick with it forever you can pick whichever one you want you know there's lots of opportunities opportunities within the space um even within blue team you can do cloud security application security um devsec ops engineering yeah lots of opportunities within um cyber right but yeah this is like the most rewarding career i would say but um yeah just to recap you need to know that the competition is like worse than before um jobs are mainly located in cape town and joburg the number three is you just unfortunately it's, it's going to be a bit harder because the barrier to entry is a bit lower but you have to um work hard and then all the skills and the certifications and the theory and the knowledge so you can stand out you have to stand out there's no other way like there's no other way you have to be so good that they have no choice but to hire you right so that's how it's going to be but otherwise um if you want to join a community of young ambitious individuals who are breaking into cyber and you need a clear roadmap right um you're not going to get into cyber security on accident you need a clear roadmap you need a plan and you want people to keep you accountable just hit me up on linkedin and fill in the form um, down below right and then we can speak about how we can perhaps help you within your cyber journey and then just for this video if you have any comments did i miss out on anything did i not make sense um i know sometimes i'm a bit all over this because i'm not used to this whole youtube thing but if you want me to speak to you um if you, if, you don't, if you don't like the video just like if you like it please like comment and subscribe and yeah i think that's it from my side so i'll see you guys in the next video and thank you very much cheers